So let's come into mountain pose for our workout today. Just some gentle upper body things. So spread your toes, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get that core activated. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down. Feel that heart open a little bit to start with. And relax your arms. Take a moment to breathe. Reach the crown toward the ceiling and just get your inner yoga focus. And then inhaling, arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes out, and don't forget to breathe. And then as you exhale, pivot at your hips, come on all the way over and just hang, letting that lower back start stretching a little bit also. Bend your knees slightly, tip in your chin and work your way back slowly up. Feel those bones of your spine move into place into that back bend as you lift your heart. Head stretching back, hands down, feeling that chest open a little bit more. Take a moment, breathing, lengthening. And then inhale upright. And again, just take a moment, releasing down into the earth, up through the crown. And once more, arms at shoulder level, keep those shoulders down as you stretch out. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over. Hands down, open the heart, stretch your head back. And then again, exhale on over. Move your head around, releasing your neck a little bit more. Take a breath or two, deepening. Knees again bent as you wind your way back to the top. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, drop those shoulders down. And again, feel the chest open. And then inhale upright and release to mountain pose. Feel your spine more activated and we'll start opening the sides. So one arm out, the other one down, palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder, stretch those hands apart, stay facing the front, Lean to the side. Reach out through your head and hands, down into that foot you're leaning away from it. Feel those ribs open a little bit more. Side stretch on the spot. Take a breath, relaxing. Inhale to the top, exhale that down. Shoulders back and down, feel the difference on the two sides. Let's even it out. Arm out, palm up, hand over your shoulder. Stretch it apart, lean to the side. And again, just breathe into it, stretching, opening those ribs. Make sure you're not leaning forward. No twist on this one. Take a breath or two. Just maximize that opening. And then inhale up and release. And again, just take a moment, feeling those ribs a little bit more stretched apart. And then stretching apart the spine, base of the skull, base of the spine, opening up for the twist. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine apart, and exhale over to one side. Take a breath, exhale over. Keep the weight on both feet as you come down in the twist. Breathe deep. Exhale, tension. Keep your arms by your ears. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs, and the whole spine. And then inhale your way back up. Stay in the twist. Lift your heart and come into that upper body only. Remember for the back bend, no pressure when you're twisting in that lower back area. Take a breath, elbows back, shoulders down and chest high. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch around your arms. Stretch again and exhale to the opposite side. Take a breath, exhale on over. 
And again, deepen as far as you want on this side. See if your weight is still on both feet as evenly as you can, even though you're turned to one side. And again, keeping your arms by your ears, staying in the twist, work your way up into that upper body, that bend. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch through the crown. Take a few breaths. Inhale, upright. Exhale, round to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up. Extended mountain. Feel your body sink evenly into your feet. Sitting bones are down. Shoulder blades are down. Fingertips crown are high. Swan dive forward, so arms at shoulder level. Lead with your heart. Pivot on over. Stretch it out. And then drop it a ragdoll. Just hang. Take a moment and breathe. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch, lengthening your spine. Exhale back down. Lift the sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs maybe a little bit more. And then again, arms to the front, slowly working your way around you all the way up, again, into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get back into your standing position just to feel your spine more activated. What else is going on for your body today? Lengthen through the spine and turn your toes slightly out. We'll do our twist across, bringing the shoulder toward the knee. So bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. And remember those knees are still going toward your second toes. Sitting bones slightly back. Stretch the spine long and straight. Get it all opened up so that you can twist. And then as you exhale, turn, looking toward the side and bring your shoulder way down toward your knee as you lift those sitting bones up and back behind you. Take a moment there, feel the twist through your whole body. And exhale, turn back to the center and stretch the spine apart as you breathe in. Exhale again. Bring that shoulder down and across toward the opposite side, turning your whole body in the twist. And again, maximize for your body as much as it wants. And exhale, turning back to the center, tucking your chin slightly round a little bit and all the way back up, bringing those shoulders back and down. And again, into mountain pose. Toes back straight ahead and the whole body lined up. Take a moment there. Feel your heart. And let's do, bring your hands behind you and clasp your fingers together and just press the fingers, knuckles toward the floor. Feel those chest area and shoulders open a little bit more. Lift your heart, stretch your head just slightly back. Spread your toes out, no gripping. And allow that whole body to be in that upper body back here. Exhaling, bring the hands out. Pivot them up toward the ceiling. Tuck in your chin just slightly. Lift your sitting bones. And bring those hands toward your head even further. And take a moment there, feeling what's going on through your shoulders. And then again, lift your heart forward, bring the hands back down toward your hips, and again, coming back upright, and release. Feel that shoulder area again, a little bit more open and a little bit more activated. We're going to do the same thing, but clasping the hands the opposite way behind you, so put the other finger outside. And again, press the hands together, knuckles just gently to the floor, chest lifting, stretch your head back slightly. Feel that upper body across the heart opening even more. Take a moment and breathe. Bring the hands out, bring them up toward the ceiling. Tuck the chin a little bit. And again, just coming deeper into that arm raising position. Take a moment to breathe. Lengthen, lift the sitting bones maybe a little bit more. And again, chin slightly in as you work your way back up, bringing the hands back down towards your hips. 
and release. And again, just feel across your shoulders how that's working in your upper body. Go to a wall or door and just stand in front of it, facing that position. Bring your right hand to the wall right in front of your shoulder. And then turn the fingertips 90 degrees to the side. So that's going straight to the side with the fingers. And then bend your elbow and come toward the wall with your forearm and turn your body to the side. And then from there, we're going to keep the hand and arm on the wall and just turn a little bit more toward the center of the room so you feel that shoulder open a little bit more. And as palms press down into the, into the wall, and that forearm still as much as possible on the wall so you keep that shoulder open. And the more you want to turn toward the center of the room, the more you're going to feel that shoulder open a little bit more. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. And then lengthen up. Exhale, turn all the way back toward your hand. Turn the fingertips up and bring that arm down toward your side. See if it's maybe a little bit more activated. And we're going to do the other one. So fingertips, again, palm up, and right in front of your shoulder with the left arm. Turn the fingertips to the left, 90 degrees to the side. And then bring that forearm in toward the wall as you step in and begin turning your body toward the center of the room. And again, go as deeply into that opening across your shoulder as feels okay for you. Take a breath. Just exhaling, deepening as much or as little as your shoulder and body needs today. Take a breath. Hands still on the wall, forearms still on the wall. Just breathing and relaxing into it. And when you're ready to release again, take a breath. Exhale. Turn back toward the wall, turn your fingertips up, and bring your hand down to your sides. And again, we're still facing the wall or the door. Bring your hands right in front of your shoulders. And then bring the hands up another hand print, so the length of your palm a little bit higher. So your base of your palm is about the level of the top of your head. Palms spread apart, fingers spread apart on the wall, right in front of your shoulders. And then take a big step back. Toes pointing toward the wall. Keep your head reaching up toward the fingertips. And then sink your chest down toward the floor as you push your sitting bones back over your ankles. So get as much of an upper body back bend going through that chest and shoulder area as you can sink that upper body down. Keep pushing out through the sitting bones and keep lifting up through the crown. Take a breath. Just exhale and relax. Deepen as far as your upper body wants to go into that opening. And then bend your knees slightly, tuck your chin just a little bit and step toward the wall. Bring your hands back down and coming back to your left. Feel that area across your heart and chest even more open. Take a moment just appreciating all that circulation and energy flow. And then bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands. Inhale, bring them toward the ceiling, the thumbs toward the back. And keep gazing at your thumbs as you lift your heart and push your head back away. So upper body back bend as deeply as your body wants. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Just keep gazing at those thumbs. Pivot at your hips and drop the hands all the way to the floor. So again, just hang as deeply into that forward position as you'd like and lift the sitting bones, stretching the whole back of your body. Slide your hands up under your knees and straighten everything. Elbows, knees, spine. Everything in that halfway up stretch, just lengthening and opening. And then bend your knees and come all the way to the floor. Child pose transition as always. Hips back toward your heels, hands palms up or head toward the floor. 
And don't forget to breathe. Let those shoulders relax down, so a little opening across the back of the body. And then inhale, and sit up on your heels. We're going to do a camel position. So we'll start with a little baby camel. So this is a perfectly good version. Bring your fingertips next to your toes, facing toward your knees, and then push your hands down onto the floor, leaning slightly back. Elbows, knees, or wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And then lift your heart a little bit more and look up slightly toward the ceiling, but don't tip your head back or your chin up too much. So you don't want to crunch your back of your neck. And you want to keep lifting through the heart. So right here, in the middle of your upper chest. Push it forward and up. And just feel that back bend opening across the shoulders, across the heart. Keep breathing. Exhale any tension. Press as deeply as you like into your hands. If that's too much for you, of course, you can always put blocks under or books under to raise the floor. So just chest high and chest forward. And then pushing into your fingertips, come on back upright into kneeling position. So take a moment there, just feeling that chest and heart area. We're going to go into the deeper camel. So as we do this, remember, personal practice always. We're going to start with the supported version so that you've got support on your lower back. If you can. So come up onto your knees. If you want to, you can pad with your mat with an extra fold or a pillow under your knees. And then bring your hands onto your back so that the heels of your palms are about the level of your shoulder blades and your fingertips go down toward your hips. And then rotate those elbows in toward each other so you feel that expansion across the heart. And just keep the hands pressing gently into that lower back in this supported camel version. So the hips are above your egg. Uh, no, your hips are above your knees in this position. The ankles are either straight back or slightly toward each other, whatever gives you more stability in the lower legs. Elbows toward each other, hips over the knees, chest lifting toward the ceiling. And again, don't lift your chin too much. You want to keep stretching through the back of your neck. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Lift that heart maybe a little bit more. And then chin toward your chest, elbows out, and hips back down. You can go all the way into child's pose if you'd like a little forward bend to counteract that back bend. So we're going to do a couple more versions of the camel. And as we do, it gets incrementally more challenging. So remember, personal practice, do what's right. If you want to stay in that permanently supported position with your hands on your back, that's a really good cam. So just stick with that if that's enough. What we want to be doing is focusing on that heart opening at the top of your chest. So do what's right for you. And if your back needs support, stick with the support. So come on back up on your knees. Again, hips right above those knees. Hands on your back for support with those elbows toward each other. Chest opening. And again, keep those hips above the knees as you lift your heart and push your head slightly back. Perfectly good, Kim. Stick there. Tuck your toes under, lifting your heel up off the floor a little bit. Again, feet still hip width apart behind you. And then we're going to reach one hand back toward that heel, feeling that chest open a little bit more on that side. And then bring the hand back to your back. And then do the other one. And again, feel how that works on that side. If they're both feeling like they're okay and you want to go even further and do both hands at the same time, you can bring your hands back onto your heels. Chest high, as much above your hips as you can. And again, head stretching back, just gently. Fingertips on your heels or hands cupped around your heels, whatever works. And whenever you want to get out, Hands to your back, give yourself support first. Elbows in, feel that heart open, put your toes down, 
and sink your hips back and roll all the way again into your forward bend, counteracting child pose, or just relax. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that heart area a little bit more activated and probably that lower back as well if you went into those hands on your heels version. Now we're gonna do one more version. It's even deeper than that first one. So remember, if you already had enough, stick with what you already are comfortable with. If you wanna try the new version, you can go a little further if you want to. But again, personal practice, make sure it's right for your body. It does get quite deep. Coming up onto your knees, hips above your knees, hands on your back for support. Elbows toward each other. And again, stick with this version. Perfectly good camel. Tuck your toes if you want to, or this time you can keep your feet flat if that's going to work for you today. And lift your foot. Head slightly back, stick with that version supported, or reach back for your heels, whichever version you're going into. So again, fingertips or palms on your heels. Chest pushing up and forward, going as much into that camel as you want. Stay there as much as you like. You'll feel it, yes, on the front of your quads as well as through the back. So do what's right for your body. Stick with the supported version. Go into the full version. Do one hand at a time if that's working better for you. And when you're ready to release, hands on your back. Coming back upright. Hips down to your heels. Hands at your sides. And forehead to the floor. Child pose. Nice forward bend. Feeling that stretch across the upper back. Counteracting that chin. Feel that lower back as well, giving a nice forward bend stretch. And then inhale and sit up and come into, or let's just do a cross leg position. So as you get into your seated position, just take a moment, make sure your hips and shoulders are lined up with your crown. Stretching up, sitting on slightly behind you. Remember, you can pad if you need to. Creatures of habit, yeah, go ahead and switch your legs to the opposite cross because we want to balance our bodies always. Bring your chin into that little indentation at the base of your throat. Feel the back of your neck stretch. Exhale any tension. Bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head. No pressure, just a little extra weight to give you a stretch on the back of your neck. Exhale any times. Just let it relax completely. Chin in toward that jugular notch. Just breathing and relaxing. And then releasing your hands. Tip your head upright. Bring your chin slightly up toward the ceiling, but not too much. You want to keep stretching the back of your neck. And again, just move the jaw forward to the sides, maybe circling, and getting a stretch through that throat on the front of your neck. Take a breath, keep stretching out through the base of the skull as well. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down, relaxing. And then tip your head upright. Tip your ear over to one side. And as you go to that side, just relax. Keep both shoulders down, even. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up to the outside of your head. A little extra weight, not pressure. Just feel that stretch lengthening through that side of your shoulder and neck. If you like more, you can bring your hand to the floor. Don't overdo, remember, necks and shoulders are kind of delicate. Just do what's right for you. Exhale any tension, let it stretch, but don't force it. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright, and let's switch our legs and do the opposite side. So again, sitting minds behind you, everything aligned and straight, stretching through the neck, and exhale the ear over toward that opposite shoulder. Both shoulders stay down, the ear will never make it to the shoulder, that's okay. 
The side you're tipping toward, bring your hand up, add a little weight. Exhale any tension, just let that stretch, feel it along the opposite side. If that's good, stay there or bring your hand down, either fingertips or palm down, whatever works for you. And again, breathe into it, just relax, let everything release any tension. Breathing, exhaling the tightness. And then releasing, bring your head back upright. Feel your whole body a little bit more activated through the neck, through the shoulder. And then lift your knees, bring your legs out to the front, stretch your spine apart, and we'll do our diving dolphin for our twist. So bring your foot up to your inner thigh, knee out to the side, and then bend your opposite knee, heel back near your hip, not under it, so that that hip is slightly up. We're going to twist toward that first knee. So stretch your spine apart, lengthening through the crown. Exhale, turn toward that knee bent first. Ribs in, shoulders relaxing. Tip forehead down toward the floor as you exhale, diving under. And then rotate your face to the front. Inhale your way up, coming into that back bend in your twist all the way up. So go ahead. Diving under at your own pace with the exhalations and inhaling, coming all the way up. Don't forget this hip is up, the back hip is up so that you're not overworking that lower back in that connection position. And just dive your dolphin a few times, letting the whole spine get its work as you dive and breathe. And the next time you come up, pause at the top, stretch it apart, exhale and turn to the center, and release into staff. And again, feel the spine more activated, feel that whole body, feel the heart a little bit more open as well. And of course, our dive, dolphins want to dive the other way. So bring your other foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, heel back on that other leg near your hip. This hip stays slightly up as you stretch up through the crown, opening the spine and turning to twist. And again, your dolphin wants to dive, exhaling under the water and then inhaling on the way up. So feel the chest expand as you come to the top and then feel the whole spine rounding as you dive your forehead under on the exhalations. And just feel your whole body moving through its spine, through its range of motion, through its breath capacity as you breathe and don't. And when you come up again, pause at the top. Exhale around to the center and release into step. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Press that through your heels with the toes pulling back, full legs stretching or activated, sitting by the slightly behind you, and then just roll your whole body slowly onto the floor. As you come all the way down into corpse position, just let your body soften and sink. One more real quick twist, arms, palms up out at your sides. Sitting bones toward your heel, back pressing down, draw those heels in, and your feet up off the floor, knees above your hips. Roll the knees just right over to the side, turning your head to the opposite side, shoulders both down. Exhale any tension, just allow that twist to maximize for your body as much as it wants. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten it out. And exhale, knees to the opposite side, head turning the other direction. And again, just let that whole body just deepen for another twist, activating and balancing your body. And once more, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, feet to the floor, sliding out, coming into our final relaxation. Toes together. Shoulders down, hands, palms up away from your sides, and just let your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. 
Really let those shoulders come way down toward the floor, shoulder blades toward your waist, feeling that heart open even a little bit more as we're in our corpse position relaxation. Deepen your breath and then just let your whole body sink, softening into that earth support, feeling the earth embrace you, just let your body go. Allow everything just to release, filling your lungs, emptying the tension, letting your body open across the heart, through the mind. And as your body relaxes, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness, softening further into that earth support. And as your thoughts of your body release, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. And as you breathe, softening your body and drifting your mind. Just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Find that peace within. Feel your awareness with peace. Deepening into the peace. Just take a few moments to be peace. And just keep relaxing into your peace as long as you have time. If it's time now to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently whenever you're ready to do so. Breathing and stretching, feeling whatever needs to happen for you, getting ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips, send your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug for the work your body did today in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.